Notre Dame beats Virginia Tech. And you look at their schedule and who they've beaten and who they have left. Take a look at that. Call that up in a second. Then you've got Clemson, which dis- destroyed Wake Forest 63-3. to And who they have left. They have only one current ranked team left on their schedule. NC State, Florida State, Louisville, Boston College, Duke, and South Carolina, and that's it. Let's say they go undefeated. Who would they play in the ACC championship game, do you think, Chris? Look that up, if you don't mind. ACC championship. Stand by. Just get that all. I want all this information in a row right here because this is what it's going to come down to. Because once again, Alabama and Georgia don't play each other, and, and it's absurd. It's absurd. Exactly. How do these teams not play each other every year? Michigan and Ohio State find a way to play each other every year. Yeah. Alabama and Georgia should figure that one out. Yep. It's once every three years, it seems like. Mm, so, Clemson's probably going to play Miami. Okay. So let's say Clemson runs the table. And then Notre Dame runs their table, too. Because they just beat, from the way it looks right now, the toughest, the toughest remaining opponent on their docket, with the exception, one would say, of Syracuse. Now, no, they just lost to Pitt. I know. I don't know how the heck that happened. On the road. But they 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 play Pittsburgh next at home, then Navy, then at Northwestern, which just knocked off Michigan State, home for Florida State, home for Syracuse at USC. Notre Dame runs that table, and as we all know, they're independent. They're not forced to play these cockamamie, stupid – useless conference championship games because they are cockamamie, stupid, and useless. But great law firm. <laughs> I understand. So, <laughs> Georgia and Alabama will be forced to do so, one would think. Correct? We'll see them in the SEC championship game. Yeah, Georgia Correct? plays LSU coming up this weekend, so... Let's yeah. just walk me through this here. Yes. So let's, let's just say everybody who's currently one through five goes undefeated, and that includes the Ohio State University, heaven forbid, beating my alma mater again. And then they're forced to go play the cockamamie Big Ten championship game against, say, Wisconsin. Put it all on the line to see if they could beat, you know, lose, lose that one. But let's just assume Ohio State runs the table. Does Notre Dame... Undefeated get in over a one loss Alabama or Georgia team that's one loss is against the other. That's coming down the pike. They probably do. Notre Dame. So Alabama plays Georgia. The whole country's watching on CBS. And it comes down to an overtime and it's tight. It's incredible. And both teams are drawing blood. Two actually is forced to throw a pass in the fourth quarter. <laughs> And it's one of those that the whole country is watching and is captured, captivated by. Alabama beats Georgia, say, in overtime. You ever heard that one before? Heard that Or one. vice versa. You're going to tell me Alabama, a one-loss Alabama team, is told, thanks for playing. Notre Dame gets to go. Undefeated? Adios. No way. Notre Dame's a national team. I'm aware of that. Our ratings big, man. Big ratings for them. You got nothing to do with ratings here. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. I know it does. Oh, but, it, oh it does. Oh, yeah, when Alabama's going to just be a giant rating sucking noise. No, 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 no. Georgia will too. Oh yeah, no one's going to want to watch Georgia play football. Come on, that's what. No, what I mean is it that but, that's not in the equation here. It's not like Notre Dame's a bigger draw than either one of those two schools. Come on, come on, come on. If it's a close game, I could. I mean, I could see All putting in a one loss, but if. You know, if Georgia blows out You're gonna, so Georgia, Alabama, vice versa. I'm giving you the scenario. Georgia beats Alabama in a squeaker. Nick Saban, go play go play the Cotton Bowl? Yeah, I think so. Oof. I think so. That's common. If Notre Dame's undefeated, they're in. I agree. You can't just say that. That's the uncertainty. Way. That's the way Notre it goes. Dame, Notre Dame yeah. gets it over a one loss. Thing is, there's, yeah. there's no computers anymore. It's, Alabama, there's a committee. But so, yeah. why, so then why would that happen when one guy... When last year, a one-loss Alabama team got in. They didn't even have to play that cockamamie, stupid, useless championship game. And guess who won it all? That aforementioned Alabama team. That's why they're in. 
So then they wouldn't get in over Notre Dame. You give Notre but Dame a shot. But if they lose in the championship game. Notre Dame, having beaten my school, uh, my alma mater, Stanford, Virginia Tech. Really? I don't know I, about that. I, I kind of think he's everybody's so give it to everybody's him. so. But when push is coming to shove, and it's the first week of December, he's right, I want though. I want you just remember your certainties right yes. now. Yep. And Don Bowie, my coordinating producer, who's been chirping over the last minute, absolutely is going to happen. Remember your confident certainty, because it won't be that. You I won't be feeling that. I'm going to put up a Twitter poll. You won't be feeling that. I bet you I bet you this. I bet you a one loss SEC team might bounce Clemson and not an undefeated Notre Dame. An undefeated Clemson gets bounced because of the zero that they the rock that they pulled the last year. Well, they won a championship two years ago. I'm aware of that. You can't predict what these people are doing in a room. Their coffee breath and BO, to use the phrase from <laughs> Midnight Run. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.